Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. I just want to talk about the market, share my thoughts on what's been going on, and uh, hopefully help you on your journey over the next couple of weeks to see where things are going and if you should be buying now or still waiting. Guys, if it sounds interesting to you, drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new. Watch him. Uh, let's take a look at the market first of all because we've been seeing coins start to pump. Altcoins, we've been seeing rises in the altcoins. Solana's up 14% over the week. Uh, sorry, 24 hours. You see here, 24 hours. Uh, we've got think more things up over 14%. You've got uh, Avalanche, 17%. Um, so things are on the rise. FTX up 10%. Uh, watch this, Polygon, 13%. If you go through, there's a load of coins. And the lower you go in... Uh, market cap sizes of coins you're seeing higher pumps because you know i've seen coins up like 30 40 percent so you know look 74 percent celsius is up 60 percent it's on a rally uh, ba a basic attention token 22 percent so the market's looking kind of green for altcoins uh is that gonna last well i like to think it will let's take a look over here because i've got this important chart that i want to discuss with you it's just about bitcoin and basically trying to understand if the bottom's in uh, it's doing something that as far as i'm aware it's only done once in its history and you're probably thinking well what is it uh most actually no well i say that maybe it happened twice but you know it's very it's very very faint i'm talking about this uh 200 uh week line which is here right the red line the 200 week and it closing underneath it now this could usually mean a bearish sign because you know, we've never had big long candles under the 200 week, but we have had closes under the 200 week. And the last time that that happened, it was kind of like at the bottom of the market. And I seriously still believe that we've seen the bottom. Was this it? I don't know. But if you look, if you look at my videos, uh, if you get out, if you look at this video here, I made this video six days ago. Bitcoin to crash to 18,900. That was when Bitcoin was sitting around $29,000. I thought I'd grab up the video. You, you know, not, not going to play it, but you can see. And if you have a faint look over here, what I'm hovering over the prices of what it was on that day. Uh, Bitcoin was sitting around $29,000 at the time. And I was saying that it was going to go down to $18,900. It actually went to lower than what I said it would go. Uh, so, you know, this chart, it was really powerful to watch because it gives you the balanced price. That's what that indicator was all about. And I got that on glass notes. So, you know, these are the things that I'm sharing with my patrons. This is why you should maybe consider come, uh, becoming a patron so you get good insights to the market. Because I had a few people ask me in my patrons, should I buy now at 29K? And I said, listen, I think we should wait till it drops to 18K. <laughs> uh, well, you know, so this yellow line represents the 18.9K level that I said it would reach. And if you have a good look here, it breached it and it just came low as, how low did it really go to? Uh, Bitcoin fell as low as $17,600. Is that the bottom? I mean, it could be. That could be, you probably just saw the bottom. Now, let's just discuss this because this is important because if Bitcoin cannot break above this um, red line over the next week, it could be in serious trouble. And I, and I got to keep it real. It could be in serious trouble. Bitcoin, I'm going to move this gold line now. It needs to come up to, uh, what, what are we talking about? $22,300. It has to go above 22300 this week. And it needs to stay above it. And it needs to print a new candle above it. Why? Because the longer it stays below this 200-week line, it becomes more risky and more... Um, when prices are above stuff, they hold support. When it's below a line, it's it's resistance. It will become more resistant and it won't be able to break above as easily the longer it is underneath. So we want to start to see some volume. And this is what you're seeing at the bottom here. The, this volume, these red and light, green lines are volume. People throw money into the market. We haven't seen much volume since this massive crash over the weeks. So we want to start seeing some big green candles come in just like what we saw here because if you have a look at the volume now we don't have much green candles it's just red so that's what i'm keeping an eye on let's see some green volume candles come in otherwise it could be a serious situation for bitcoin and probably do something it's never done before and maybe come lower in the long term if it can't break above this because it will be a heavy ceiling this will be a seriously hard ceiling to break above <clears throat> if it doesn't do it. And it needs to do it soon. So I hope I made that clear. Take a look here. We did break 
below the 200 week in the COVID crash. If you guys were around back in, uh, when was this, 2020, uh, March the 9th, 2020, we did actually close underneath the 200 week. And you're thinking, hmm, really? Yes, we did. We closed underneath it right here. You can see here. And then the candle on the next week opened up underneath it fell straight down and then it came straight back up and then it actually went above the can uh, the, the 200 week and then it started to come back down for the sell off and this is where it ended here and then the, obviously this was the, the the week after where the next candle opened so we have closed below and we have come back above within a within the space of uh, a week so it is possible that we could see some volatility in bitcoin's price right now it's 20,500 we need to get another two you know at least a th another three thousand dollars worth of bitcoin come back into the space or you know see the price go up to 23,000 uh, if we look back in the past again because like i said there was probably another time when we closed underneath um i mean bitcoin wasn't as volatile back well it was volatile but there wasn't as much people in it as there were today there wasn't as much money so when you look at these prices here you know you're talking the 200 pound 200 dollar bitcoin price uh so you probably would have had a few candles underneath and you know it's, it's growing it's new because you know, you're talking 20 oh, i was 2015 so you know it's still relatively new uh, not it's been out five years at the time that it was invented you know, it had a lot of room for new investors to come in, which is why it probably didn't matter as much here. But when you start playing with big numbers, big money, and you're talking twenty thousand dollar price from sixty to seventy thousand dollars, that's when it starts to get serious. Where's the price gone? Here we go. Uh, you know, you, you want to start closing above again. So let's see if we can break above twenty two thousand three hundred dollars and remain above there with a green candle. Because if we can. I'm telling you now, that's going to be really bullish. Even if it does that, and then it just stays there for a period of time, that's fine. You know, and then that marks the bottom of where he was at $17,000. But if it doesn't, just watch this red line, guys. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm, not too much uh, stuff that I want to dive to in this one. Let's just take a quick look at the fear and greed index. We've been in extreme fear for a very long time time and this is why i believe we are seeing the bottom of the market because every time we was in extreme fear this low for a long time it was no different to the last ones when we saw extreme fear you know december 2018 uh, look november to december uh, of 2018 uh, was a, a low here and there was another low here look, uh, march that was the capitulation in covid so but this one here uh, let's start from the start november the 27th to december the 6th let's call it you can see that it tallies up perfectly with uh the bottoms of the market let's have a look november so that was around about here look so you know november to december all of this area here was marked as the bottom of the air of the market ish so i think we're seeing the starts of it so yeah i just want to leave it here if you just want to show you what i'm seeing what do you think do you think this is the bottom the bottom of the market because if it is you should be buying because I've been buying, you know, patrons, you're seeing my alerts, you're seeing things that I'm buying. Uh, and if you don't want to miss out, become a Patreon. I'm keeping them up to date with any, uh, everything. They're getting glass node data analysis. They're getting all sorts of charts. And just to make sure that they're staying ahead of the game and they're prepared to do what they need to do uh, with their own actions, with whether they're going to buy and sell. So I've got seven tiers. Take your pick. Look, 10% off if you're with me for the year. Definitely check it out because I think it could save you long term and you can see loads of things that we're doing over here. Um, I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here, because it unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, all that stuff. If you want that little bit more, I have a CEO tier. It's the next tier above. It gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. I drop super alerts in there. I discuss with them things way before I buy it. And we've got high crypto profiles big money in this space that know how to make money and they're sharing great projects as well so this could be for you make sure you check it out guys and and the link for my patreon is in my info section on all my videos thank you for watching check my big fat face there <laughs> how'd that get four thousand views i don't know people find that interesting thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers